So this is the St. Augustine Alligator Farms Rookery. There's two acres of swamp and boardwalk out here. And the area is filled with uh, native trees and American alligators and all of these birds. These are wading birds, uh, meaning they wade in the water to get their food. And so even in this shot, we have a couple species. We have the snowy egret and the tricolored heron. Uh, but the birds come from all over to nest here. And they specifically choose to nest above the American alligators because as long as they're nesting in these trees above the alligators, then there's no raccoons or possums or snakes or other predators that can get to them. These birds actually spend most of the year here and they spend every night here for the same reason. They get a great night's sleep as long as they're in these trees above alligators. Uh, now the relationship isn't uh, one of benevolence on the alligators part. Uh, in most cases, the wading birds have an extra chick, so to speak. So they, let's say they lay three eggs, but they'll only find resources for two of the chicks. Uh, so one of those chicks will become a runt. It may die and fall out of the nest, or it may get beat up by its siblings and get pushed out of the nest. But either way, it becomes a meal for the alligators. So in the wild, that's what keeps alligators drawn to these locations, to, to be underneath the rookery. And then while they're there, they're providing the protection for the rookery as a whole. Uh, so it's a really neat relationship, uh, and it works out extremely well here. These birds all know that the alligators are here, and so they specifically fly over and see that nests are working for other birds, and so they'll nest right next door, and it grows into these great big rookeries. Uh, so we're watching birds come and go here. I see a roseate spoonbill on the top of that tree. There are wood storks here now. Uh, great egrets are uh, nesting, even a few great egret chicks already. Uh, I don't know if you can see, but just to the right of that oak uh, and the right hand side of the screen is the lighthouse peeking up over the top of our trees. That's how close we are to the lighthouse. They get these fancy feathers when they are in breeding condition. That's to help attract them, uh, attract a mate to them. They also get specific colors in their face or their feet that change specifically for the breeding season to help attract a mate. And so uh, they don't always look this way. Cattle egrets are kind of a dull bird until breeding season and then they get purples and oranges and they almost look like candy corn when it's all said and done uh, to attract another mate. The wood stork's kind of an ugly bird and the only thing that really changes about them is that they get pink feet uh, and that apparently attracts their mates as well.